Hey there guys, how you doing? It's Drew here and today is day number 1176 review here for the Progress Inside S Group. This is not going to be like a, an update video of where I go over like, you know, audit news or anything like that, guys. Um, what I'm going to do in this video is I'll just do a couple withdrawals and then uh, I've been doing crazy with my trading, okay, my personal um, trading and every once in a while I'll share like my result or I'll share like a strategy or something like that Okay, so let's do withdrawal here. So we're gonna shoot uh, shoot on over to the finance page We've got some SWCT up there and then we've got good old SGCT. So I like making that um, 64 bucks of that. So I'll just add that to my holdings that I have in uh, S wallet and I've just been selling everything into USDT just to hold it uh, in there <clears throat> all the SGCT, not SWCT. We can't sell SWCT yet um, until the audit's done and the broker releases the uh, funds there. If you want to know more about that, guys, then go watch the uh, update videos that I did on, uh, you know, from after Vadim's webinar and stuff like that. We'll get going here. And that's the honest truth. Like, that's how I feel about it, guys, is like, um, you know, if I didn't have a skill of learning how to, like day trade, basically, I would probably be in the situation where I'd be thinking like when my savings run out, promote something else basically and, and break my contract with S group, the marketing contract, right? Um, I would probably have to do that guys if I didn't know how to day trade, right? And I know I'm doing good with my trading because the people that I follow, they're saying that uh, this has been a shit month for trading. And I actually did some, I did better than the people that I follow online, like the pro traders, right? That's funny when you think about it. Okay, so anyways, let's refresh the page. Okay, so that withdrawal's gone. And then we'll do this SGCT withdrawal. This guy here, 64. So this one you can just put in the number. And then grab this one down here. So you guys can see I just sell my SGCT. I sell it into Tether there. <laughs> that's why it's stacking up. And then also that's my little withdrawals from that little trading account that I have. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of excited because I haven't really even, oh, I haven't even really counted it up yet. Like how much I've made since I deposited into my, uh, the little trading account, which I'm like testing things out with. Okay. So anyways, I just did a withdrawal there. And once again, this, if I show my personal trading stuff, guys, it has nothing to do with S group. Okay, so there's those two withdrawals there. They're on their way to S Wallet. If this comes to S Wallet as I'm making the video, guys, um, I'll probably just go and send it to my wife because there'll be three thousand in there. Um, so I just go and send it uh, to her if it's if it's uh, if it comes during this video. Okay, so here's the withdrawals from my trading account. Okay, there's my original deposit which then I decided, you know what? I'm not going to trade on 1,000. I'm just going to trade on 500. So then I sent that back to um, uh, uh, S Wallet there. Okay, so I'll explain all this. And then all this here, guys, is profits. There's a withdrawal I just did, like, it's 438. And this withdrawal I did at 413. So I just did that little one there. So today, that's what I made today off 500 bucks. <laughs> when you think about it, that's insane. The day before I made 48, the day before that didn't have that great of a day. I made 23 and then this was the uh, last week I made uh, 68 and then this here, guys, uh, what I, cause I kind of changed my strategy around and I want to talk about this in the video um, just in case we get into this like uh, trading, uh, you know, I make some videos about trading and stuff like that, guys. I want to uh, share my strategy and stuff like that with you guys of even like withdrawing, like how to, how to do it the safest way, right? Okay. So this right here was profits from about a week or so. So a hundred or sorry, 246 from $500. And then this here was profits from about two weeks, I think from the 11th till the 22nd. Okay. So that those two weeks, you know, still amazing. If you think about it, it's like 500 bucks. Um, but that's why there's one huge one and then a bunch of, uh, smaller ones there. Right. And then this here is when I decided, you know what, I'm going to take my account down to 500 and I'm really going to test out strategies and just really like dial this thing in. 
um, there. So that's my original deposit into that account, guys, was 991, okay, on November 30th, 2023. And actually, you know what I'll do is I'll just refresh this page so you guys can see um, that it's real and it's not a screenshot or anything because I know that seems, you know, that seems kind of like, how is that even possible to make, you know, it, it, probably adding this up is going to be close to 500 or more than $500. And, and how do you do that off $500? Like that's, that's crazy, right? So we're going to add this up now. I've got 500 in my account. Okay. So basically what I do guys is I put my account down to $500 after every day I finish trading and I'll do Maybe the most I'll do is four trades in one day. You know, if like things are going really good or say I get into some kind of drawdown and I've got to, you know, average my way out kind of thing like that, um, which normally turns into making profit, uh, then I get in like four positions or something, right? Okay. So, and if none of this really makes sense to you, it's fine, guys. I'm going to put together something just for the people that are interested. And I won't make it anything to do with S Group. So it won't be like, oh, my substitute income during the audit S group, what blah, 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 or whatever, guys, it'll just be a, like a different, um, it'll be on this channel because it's for the subscribers, but it, it won't be any, there won't be any S group content in it. Okay. Cause I think that's, that's best because this has nothing to do with S group. Okay. So yeah. And then, uh, I want to explain to you guys, one of the reasons why I would do this is because I can turn this into a way that I can make money off it as well. Meaning that I could go and leave my referral link to the broker that I'm using in like the video video description. And then people would go and they, you know, they go through my training. They're like, Oh, I'll give this a shot, you know? Um, and they would go through my link and then I would get a commission when they deposit it and that type of thing, like uh, an affiliate commission. So I want to be hundred percent honest with you guys. Uh, why would, why I would do that? Right. You can see here, guys, that's my trading account. Okay. I'll show you that it's not a screenshot. I'll actually just change the page there. We'll go to Canadian Japanese yen. I'll show you, it's not a screenshot or anything. So there's actually 500 bucks in that account. Okay. Give it some time. It takes a bit of time. And then we got to hit the thing on there. So you can see the, the pair change, the layout change. There's 500 bucks in there. Okay. So one of my strategies that I do is, as I said, after every trading day, I take out my profits. I don't leave them in there thinking like, oh, okay, I made a hundred bucks today. So now I have $600 and tomorrow... I can use, you know, my portion size would be bigger because my account's bigger. I don't do that. That's that right there is what most gurus will tell you is just compound and build. And, and you know, uh, you can turn a hundred dollars into $10,000 trading account. And from my experience, guys, which is a strategy, what I've noticed from my personal experience is I end up blowing my, not my account, but I end up blowing my profits, right? Like the end of the month, I'll have maybe a hundred dollars or, or, or 50 bucks or something in profit where this strategy that I'm doing now, if I go in and put my, uh, 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 balance back down to like, you know, where I want it in my mind, Hey, uh, this is a $500 account. And I just pull my profits out every day after trading guys. I, what I ended up noticing after doing this, uh, uh after months and months of testing different strategies out guys, I noticed I make more if I just pull my profits out and then my mindset is the same every day. This is the lot size I use. This is how big my account is, that type of thing. And I think that I haven't tried yet going in and putting this account to say $2,000 or something. That'd probably be my next move was I'll, I'll jump from a 500 account to a 200 account. And then I'll just make my portion size for my tradings four times as big. So 246, 246. Plus, uh, so we'll just say that's 69 because it's five cents away from 69 plus 69 plus 20. So we'll round this one up and then we'll, we'll just say that's 20, uh, 48. Okay. So 24, 24 plus that was 48. The next one. 48 and then 60, we'll round that one up two cents. So 67, 
plus, and then the little withdrawal that I did at the end of today's trading. So I actually did two withdrawals today because I was like, oh, the market's pretty nice because we had that big drop and I was short. So then I made this little bit. And guys, I, I actually opened this trade, uh, set a take profit and set a, a stop loss, and then I went skiing. So this trade actually closed when I was on the ski hill. So that's another good thing about trading, guys. If, if you know, if, like I'm using $500, right? If I was to lose it, all of it, which I never would, I wouldn't really care. I'd be like, uh, you know, it's fine <laughs> kind of thing, right? Um, so you could do this strategy, like say $500 is a lot for you. You could even do the strategy with 50 bucks. So 20, we'll just say that's 27. Okay, so 27 on there. And then that's that. Uh, what I did here, as you can tell down here, I my original deposit was 991, right? And then I withdrew because I was like, you know what? I only want to trade off 500. I, I'm just testing out strategies. And for me to lose $1,000 right now, like I would feel that. Like I'd rather have $1,000 than, I would never lose everything. But you know, if I was to lose say 20 or 40% of that, if things just went horribly wrong, you know, I, I'd feel bad. But uh, if I was to lose 20 to 40% or whatever of 500, like I just wouldn't, it wouldn't really affect me kind of thing. So yeah, that's why I put my account down to half. So we can't, we can't count um, this in the withdrawals, even though I know it's a withdrawal, right? Um, there. Okay. 991 minus uh, uh, 467. Seven equals 524. Okay, so this is it here. So 524. Okay, why is that? I think I, I maybe I withdraw that while a trade was open. I don't know. Minus 500. So anyways, we could go 24. So th it'd be this, guys. So it'd be this number minus 24 because there's 500 bucks in my account. This number minus 24 there. Okay. So, and that's three weeks almost. It's three weeks and one day basically from the deposit date. That's pretty crazy when you think about it. <laughs> that's pretty good, right? Okay. So, for so exactly how much I've made, guys, and we'll go exactly like how many days that took. Okay. So, 457 off 500 bucks in the account, okay? And you can see here the first deposit, there's no other deposits or anything before that, okay? November 30th, 2023 at 8.42 a.m., okay? So we'll bring up the calendar. Here's today, right? The last withdrawal I did today, so last trades from today, um, December 22nd, okay? And that's today's day, December 22nd. So right here, Okay, November 30th. So we've got one week, two weeks, three weeks. So three weeks in one day, guys, because today's a Friday, right? Okay, and I do trade like five days a week. I don't take any uh, any little holidays there. Um, a lot of people don't trade on Mondays and they don't trade on Fridays just because the market isn't moving as much. But I trade then anyways because I'm using such high leverage. If it moves like, you know, 20 pips, I'm making some money, okay? Well... Uh, making money considering I have 500 bucks in my account. I know that doesn't sound very impressive. Like, oh, I made $457 in the last uh, three weeks. But considering it's, you made, I made that off $500. That's pretty, uh, pretty nice. So yeah, guys, what I'm going to do, as I said, I'm going to do this for one more month with my strategy. And then if I have, or not even a month, like I could do it for two weeks, three weeks, whatever. And if, if the strategy is still working the way it is now, and supposedly the market's like crap to trade in right now, um, if it's working out good, guys, I'm going to put something together. But before that, I'll start putting little a uh, little bit of stuff together. So maybe twice a, uh, twice a week or something, I'll put together something for you guys to go over. Um, below this video, I'll put the link to the broker I'm using. Okay, which I looked into everything. Like right now, guys, all the brokers are going through this problem with MT4, MT5. Um, they can't use it. Well, you can see I've been withdrawing fine from them, right? Um, but supposedly they're like a totally legit broker out of um, Australia, right? With brokers, it's kind of like 
hit and miss kind of thing. I know a lot of big name people that use this. Uh, they did stop using MT4, MT5 as soon as as uh, 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 the U.S. government uh, didn't allow broker. I, I don't know exactly the story behind it, but didn't allow brokers to use it. MT4, MT5. Not 100% sure what the story is behind that. But um, within like three days or something, guys, they had this together where we could trade on this, right? And that's that. this account is actually when all that went down. So I started actually trading on this platform here, which is that this is their own kind of platform um, as all that was going down with MT4, MT5. So that was pretty interesting. And even, you know, with, with all that trading on a brand new platform, um, I made some pretty freaking nice results, right? Okay. So yeah, that's it guys. I'll leave the link to this broker in the video description below. It is my referral link guys. If I'm going to do something right, make some content around something like I'm going to make profit off it. I'm not just going to say, Oh, go to Google, Google sway markets or whatever, like go to the video description. You can click that link. If you want to give back to me, if you're going to do this, um, I'm going to put together trainings and stuff, but here's the thing guys. Once again, if no one says in the comments that they would like this training on how to day trade and stuff and, you know, make profits on your own, uh, type thing then I'm not going to do it, right? If no one wants me to do it, I'm not going to do it. This is something that I'm just kind of doing on my own, right? Like even if I was to make say 20% a month, it would probably still be worth it for me to go out there and make content. What percentage is that? Uh, let's just say uh, $460 from $500. You know, it's probably like 90 something percent. So what is 90% of 500? And remember, this is three weeks, guys. Yeah, so it's like 90, 93% probably. Yeah, about 93%, guys, 94% actually, probably. 93 to 94% in three weeks. So definitely, most likely, over this next week, I'll, I'll make another $50. Well, more than I'll probably make that on Monday and Tuesday or just Monday. And yeah, that'll be 100% profits within uh, a month or under 30 days kind of thing. And yeah, I think that this is a good opportunity for people, guys, um, to learn, you know, the money printing skill, basically, of, of trading for yourself and not to do it with low risk, to do it with high risk, high reward, where you're trading on a little bit of funds that doesn't matter to you. If you go and say you have a bad day, like I have bad days every once in a while, you have a bad day and you lose 20% of your account or 10% of your account, right? And it's not, you know, it's not sitting on you like, oh my God, I just blew 20% of my account. My account was $100,000. No, you blew 20% of your account and your account was 500 bucks. Who cares? <laughs> okay. So that's it for me, guys. Holy geez, look at this. This timer here is at one hour. That is nuts. So we're going to stop the video here and I'll see you guys in another one shortly. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, we got nine STDs up there too. So Probably next week we'll withdraw that because there'll be a lot more. Or can let's go see if we can withdraw. Or sorry, seven SGs. Let's see if we can withdraw seven of them, just for just for the hell of it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Because I don't know. I don't know if there's a limit on STD or SWP. I guess it'd be the same kind of withdrawal. Because <laughs> I know on the SWCT and the SGCT it's fifty. So let's see if we can do seven. <clears throat> let's see what happens. Well, and then we'll just end the video, guys. So yeah, I've got 175 in there right now that I've got to send over to S Trade and sell those guys off. So so far so good, but I think this next one here might tell me you don't have enough balance to do the withdrawal. But maybe it might tell us what the balance is. Oh no, it worked. Okay, so you can withdraw, I guess, seven or less STDs. I don't know what the, the uh, uh, minimum or maximum is on that. Well, there's no maximum, but there definitely, maybe there is a minimum. It's just under seven, I guess. Um, so we refresh the, refresh the page there, guys. Man, I'm having a hard time talking today, eh? Like stuttering and like, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> so there's that. So yeah, there's those three withdrawals there, guys. You saw me send uh, this one plus whatever was in my wallet. I think I had five, 600 SWCTs in my wallet before I did that withdrawal. I sent it over to my wife. Um, has she got it yet? Uh, yes. Or yep. There it is right there. So she's got that. I'll have to message her and say, did you get uh, like about 3000 SWCTs today? And yeah, that's it. So once again, see you guys. Bye-bye.